In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to edit and or close a work order. So I'll navigate to the work order screen, locate the existing work order that I want to work with. In this case, I'm going to make some edits to it, so I left mouse click the grid row containing that work order. Make some new selections. I can change information that's already existing on this work order. Add comments. I can add unlimited file attachments. These can be any type of file. I can add details. Details can be up to two gigabytes of text per record. So virtually unlimited information can be added to each work order. Be sure to click the OK button on the details screen. And now we can click save and all of our changes have been added to that work order. You'll notice the details button now is red. This is our required field color as indicated by the equipment and the task drop down and what this is telling us is that there are indeed some details attached to this particular work order. Okay, so that's how you edit a work order. Now if we want to close this work order, we left click the row Check this little checkbox in the date time completed and MateSmart locks that in, changes the status to done. You can give us some labor hours or you could have had MateSmart automatically calculate the labor hours and that's a setting under the options menu, defaults. So we could have set that. Okay, at this point we can go ahead and click the Save button and that closed the work order out. So that is how you edit and or close a work order in MateSmart.